I think he's going after all the Infernos here. He puts one Lightning on each of the Multi-Infernos here. The RC comes in on the corner. The RC is going to take down one Inferno here. And with the Lightning damage, if he gets the ability to hit the other two, he can pop the Quake and they can take down all three of the Multi-Infernos. There's the Invisibility spell. Creating the pathing. There's the RC ability to chase through all of them. The Quake takes out one, two, and three. Multi-Infernos. Crazy value here. Hey, what's going on guys welcome back to clash with eric today is the return of the vatikanu cup we are live with the queen markers going in against invincible so guys let's dive right into it with gaku make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button don't forget to use code eric and let's see what gaku's gonna kick it off with starting with a queen charge into hybrid big dragon on the corner there the queen will fight off the king and she's working with the unicorn here as he uh, starts off here. This baby dragon will clear a little bit on the outside as a sneaky goblin comes down to join her. And they'll try to walk her right into this little opening and charge into this enemy queen and CC. Get the scatter shot on the way in and a balloon will get a direct path to the core of the base there and clear the black mines that could be in the path. Looks like he caught one. Easy day. Looking good. Look at the CC pull. Looks like a triple ice golem to install up this queen for a little while, but probably not as long as what a hound would uh, stall her up for. See if she can power through that and move on here. Music back to the soundtrack that we want to be watching. to All right, let's see what he's. Uh, are we powers through the CC? Looks like he's got it down. He's engaging the queen while he's fighting the CC, and that. Cause a little extra damage on the queen, but she stays safe. The unicorn stays safe. The healer stays safe. He's looking good here. The hybrid will come with the siege barracks and the king on the outside of the base. We'll see if they attack a wall at any point because this enemy RC could potentially draw some of those troops through the wall. And if the king attacks the wall, then the yak will open it up very, very quickly. The queen gets a... Did he wall break deep in the base there? Look at that wall break that he got for the queen. Open up all the way to the multi-inferno. The queen will continue on. He just needs to snipe out that arch tower and just run Q. He does drop in a couple balloons there. Snipes off the archer tower. That's going to grab out the cannon on the outside. And this is looking absolutely smashed. Gaku, that was textbook perfect. And he comes in with the hybrid. Now he's just fighting the clock. Nothing is going to stop this hybrid to finish through the base here. And even wall broke in the king to get the multi-inferno. Everything about this attack here, just so much focus to concentrate on so many different things at the same time. The queen charge went perfect. He swags a heal and three freezes in the middle of the base. And Gaku pops his RC ability at the end, pops his queen ability at the end. And that attack was perfection. Nice hit. All right, guys, here we go. Khan coming in against Gaku. We got a... Inferno Dragon attack. In a little bit less Inferno Dragons at, at Town Hall 14 than we did at Town Hall 13, but still a very, very powerful attack here. We'll see if we can get it done. Drops in a Baby Dragon to form a little bit of a funnel here. Inferno Dragons come down, and they're going to charge right past the Town Hall here. He's going to send a blimp over to catch the Town Hall. Early ward ability to protect. I like this setup. I do like this setup a lot. He's going to have to go back for that single Inferno, though, over on the left side. And we'll see how he handles that. But it looks like a couple of the, the Inferno Dragons split off that direction. Or just one of them, really. The King and the Queen will work her out on the outside over on the right. And we'll see if he can get that Inferno down over on the left. And uh, carry into the middle of the base here with the rest of them. Looks like he got that Inferno down in the middle of the base. The Multi and he'll engage the Queen in just a moment. This E-Drag going all the way to the back of the base. And he'll start to drop in Skeletal Spells for the enemy Queen. He'll engage her in the middle and... A Poison as well. Where was the CC? I didn't see uh, any CC come out. If there was, he didn't poison it or he didn't even need to. Inferno Dragons are starting to get uh, wrecked in the middle of the base a little bit as this uh, air defense is tearing him up. But he does get the enemy Queen down. His queen stays alive, barely. His warden starts to get shot down, but the queen saves him. Still pull this through. He's got a 
Now this skeleton spell here to protect his RC. The king will pop his ability on the outside and try to stay in front of the RC. She's got a lassie. She's got a lot of ground skellies in the area and she's still sticking through. The king does pass up the RC. That allows all the tanking to be done by him and he just needs to push through this last single in front at the very end of the base here and I think the RC and the king are going to arrive right around the same time but most importantly the RC is maintaining the tanking or she's getting the tanking from the king. The warden's even helping her out there to move her along a little bit faster. As soon as this expo goes down, he can pop the ability, take out the rest of the defenses, and just needs to take out the single Inferno, and she's gonna have enough to take it with a swag freeze. And Invincibles showing off a little bit too. They can get some swag on the board here, and Gaku gets a taste of his own medicine. Let's go. There we go. Stadra coming in next for the Queen Walkers. Got another Queen Charge hybrid. See if we can match Gaku in skill with this one here. Adra coming in with a hybrid instead of a smash attack? That's kind of out of the ordinary, right? Like really, really out of the ordinary. <laughs> Normally he likes the smash attacks, but apparently not today. He's gonna walk this multi-inferno, which for whatever reason was reachable from outside of the base. Take advantage of that and walk off to the left here. I guess he was trying to take advantage of a exposed multi-inferno there. And he's not going to be able to really wall break any of the corners around this section of the base. So watch out for the scavenge right here. If he pass weird, his healers could potentially be in danger. It could be a lot of problems here for this queen. And things can go south very, very quickly. So keep a very, very close eye on the way that this queen pass and how our healers stand compared to... This scatter shot here. There comes the hybrid. The hybrid's gonna go right to the town hall. He'll put the king on the the king of the siege barracks on the outside of the base, and he'll be ending on the eagle artillery. The queen does round the corner tight there, and she is going to maintain the tanking of the scatter shot here and keep it off of her healers. But she's standing right on the edge of that scatter shot range. Ward ability through the town hall. King will work on the outside with his yak and the pekka, and the king is actually gonna duck into the base there. The pekka is gonna force it in. The Pekka will stay to the outside, and the King will go inside and go get the scatter shot. The Queen is going to go push all the way to the core of the base there, freezes the Multi Inferno with the enemy Queen, takes down the scatter shot with the King, and the RC will come down to go get the Multi Inferno. He's got the Hogs out of the Siege Barracks, which are going to go into the Multi Inferno as well, and they're going to stay to the outside here as most of the miners are stacked on top of the King by the looks of it. The Queen going all the way across this bottom half of the base, goes circling back and is going to sweep into the finish here. No problem. Looks like it's crushed here. And the Queen Walkers knock home another one. He still has a freeze. He can swag it as well. He's got an RC ability. He also doesn't need that. And this one is crushed. Nice attack here. And the Queen Walkers will put the pressure back onto Invincibles. We'll see if they can uh, get another triple of their own and stay toe to toe with the Queen Walkers. Let's go. Damar coming in against Klaus. Klaus running, uh, <laughs> what is this base? <laughs> looks like a, looks like a Legend League base. Some kind of weird Legend League base. He's coming in with a, it looks like a Blizzard? Blizzard Lalo? Let's see what he can do with this. I imagine he'd go after the Eagle Artillery, but no, he's going after the Scattershot over on the right side. To try to maybe avoid a Tornado Trap by the Eagle Artillery for the value there. Does make it into the base here. Giant Bomb goes off in the middle, but Super Wizards will be able to, to move right through that. Looks like they did all survive that. They get pulled to the Town Hall. There's the Tornado Trap. He makes the Town Hall invisible. Gets the Scatter. He's to get it one more time. He needs to not get the Town Hall invisible. Get it back on it. Get back on it. He's got a lot of invisibility here. There's the Town Hall. There he gets the Town Hall. All right. He got a good amount of value there. Maybe not 100% of everything he's looking for, but it should set him up nicely. And he got the CC kill. Went right in the Tornado Trap. Still got all the value that he needed. And now he'll push in with the King and the Queen and see if they can go all the way in here and get maybe the Multi. No, they can't reach the Multi, but they can get the enemy Queen out of the way here. And they can get the King. Get them out of the way early. The king's not the ideal target that we want to go after there, but the queen is obviously super high value. RC will come in on the flank, go after the multi-inferno. 
gets immediately locked onto by the sing by the uh, ground expo. The queen will step all the way up and get that ground expo off of. Oh, that's the wrong ground expo. <laughs> For whatever reason, I was thinking the ground expo was locked onto the RC was the one that the queen locked onto. But no, that's not that's not the case. Uh, does she turn back here? If she turns left here and gets the multi, that'd be huge value. But she goes to the right. And the queen will be able to pop her ability. She'll get the other multi-inferno. If he can get the path thing into this one here, he's going to be a really, really strong spot here. He's going to go with a couple blooms into it. He does start the hound, and it goes to the wrong air defense. I just want to start a couple blooms over there just to not waste the hound at this point. But he'll need to freeze up this multi potentially. It is not damaged up, so he will freeze it up there. Try to catch the eagle with it. And the balloons do actually make it into it. Did they get it, though? Oh, no, he misses it by one strike. He needs one more bloom to go into it. This Lalo is sloppy. These Infernos are tearing him up in here. He needs one more bloom to break off and go get that multi-inferno down. Lots of red bombs going off in here. And this Lalo is falling apart. It's going to be a defense for Klaus. He got good value out of the initial setup, but this Lalo just fell scattered. These multi-infernos... Just do so much damage, and he needed to get another one with the heroes, I think, to be able to have a chance. He'll get the artillery down, he'll get that air defense down, and he'll continue on for just a little bit more percentage, but Klaus is not going to go down to this one. Nice try. Nice try. Stars is live! Normally, Stars goes in a little bit later, but... uh. Gaku went so early in this attack here, they swapped positions compared to that you would usually uh, do with their attack order, but we'll see what they can do here. A star starts in with a Blizzard Lala. Let's see if he can get it done and show them what's up. Where does he blump out though? Maybe into this multi-inferno? Maybe into the town hall? Let's say he go out to the town hall and go get this inferno out of the way as well. But if he lands... Oh, okay, okay. He's gonna go after this scatter shot and... No, he goes way short. Is that where he wanted to go, or did he want to go deeper? I feel like he wanted to go deeper and go get the scatter shot and this multi inferno in the core. But he will clear out a dissection of the base here, and he bops over to the Eagle Artillery. Okay. All right. I see you. There we go. Gets the Eagle down. Wow. I can't believe he's able to get that much value out of that. I don't know that he planned on getting that much value, but he'll take it 100%. He got the CC pull. Didn't get the scan shot in the middle of the base, but it's a nice setup here, and we'll see what he can do with it. Queen will come down, fight the hound. A balloon will come down and go snipe off the arch tower while the yak is tanking it. DC goes down in safety, no big deal. And now he'll go into the scan shot. Baby dragon comes down, but gets uh, sniped off there. Uh, he does get the uh, camp down though, so not a big deal. Gonna work her way into the scatter shot here as the baby dragon clears on the outside. Here comes the RC to join in with the queen. He is not to put his king yet, but I think the, nope, the king is over by the multi, but he's gonna get drawn over to the queen and it's gonna prevent him from going to the multi inferno just yet. Okay. He, the ice golem frees up and saves the unicorn there. Now he has enough tanking in front of the, uh, the king to keep the unicorn protected for a bit longer. The queen does go down a little bit early, but the RC still has her ability and. They'll get the air defense out of the way here and get the arch tower, maybe the Tesla on the outside, but that's not going to matter because here comes the Lalo through the town hall. He'll reach 50% right as he arrives to the town hall. Looking good. He even got the uh, scatter shot damage all the way to the core of the base there to hit that. Uh, that the, the ah, I can't speak today. The RC hit the scatter shot with her ability, but it didn't take it down because the battle builder topped it back off. There's a couple of red bombs going off here as he pushes past the town hall. One balloon splits off there to go to the uh, scatter shot there, and then uh, the rest of the pack joins. It's absolutely crushed. All the balloons can turn on the RC. Finish her off there, and you'll get out of here with a swag haste. It's a day of swag here for the Queen Walkers as they rack in another one. Have they had an attack yet that hasn't had swag? I don't think they have. I don't think they had. That's three for three here for the Queen Walkers. And they're looking good. Haste comes out at the end there. I guess he didn't swag it if he... He saved time, right? <laughs> he just saved time. Nice hit. Queen Walkers looking good. Akilish. Or however I say that. I'm not sure. 
Um, he's gonna come in with Electro Dragons for this next one. Going to, oh, all the Infernos are lined up on this side of the base. Look at the chain value on this base here. This is a no-brainer Electro Dragon attack. This should, this should just absolutely shred this base here. Look at the chain value all the way through here. All the Infernos are down before he even feels like he started. Has two air defenses. There's chain... There's chain potential for the backside air defenses. If this doesn't triple, then I don't understand E-Drags at all. This should rip it to shreds here. And Ground Expos on top of that? What's this base, Sandra? <laughs> this base looks like it was built for E-Drags to hit it. He just needs to get through the air defenses on the backside. He's got a uh, balloon or balloons and another electric dragon pop out onto the top, the left side air defense. The top one goes down as the queen steps in, and he just needs to sweep in there and get the last one down. The king will provide a little bit of a roadblock, but it looks like the queen is going to help him get through that. He'll pop the queen ability to save the RC, and his RC can easily sweep in there, get the eagle artillery down, take out the last air defense, and this should be a triple all day long. Yeah, that was that was obviously the right choice for this base nice attack here from invisibles they're gonna stay toe-to-toe -to -toe here with the queen walkers and uh save one behind because of that missed attack against klaus but that's crushed nice hit klaus here we go what's klaus got for us today he's got a sui lalo He's got two lightning, a quake, and two invisibility. Keeping it very tame today here, Klaus. Keeping it very, very tame. He'll send in the king into the eagle artillery. The queen will walk past, and maybe she's going to go all the way in here and go try to take a multi-inferno or two. If you get two multi-infernos, that'd be huge, huge value for the queen. He's got the yak working with the queen, but it does go down relatively fast. He'll throw in the RC. Which will, look at this, he threw in the two lightning to hit one of them onto each of these infernos. If he quakes across both of them too, there's no battle builders to top him back off. So the RC should be able to chain all the way through there. He's going to need invisibility or something to provide the chain that he wants to do here. But if he can, there it is, there it is. <laughs> Klaus, you god! Gets down all the multi infernos here, and he can start the Lalo in through the town hall. It's a simple troop comp here, but the attack was still superb. Klaus opening up strong here, bites off the hound over in the corner of the base there with a baby dragon, easily takes down all the pups, and pushes the Lalo through the town hall. Gets the town hall activation from something. I didn't even see what activated there, but he needs to get this enemy queen down. As she's continuing to hammer weight these balloons. He does get her down with the headhunters. He'll push his way into the scatter shots now. Freeze at the first one. He's got two more freezes. Two haste. An invisibility. He's got a rage. He'll rage up in the middle of the base here. And he's going to get out of this with huge amounts of swag. It's a day of swag here for the queen walkers. As they're just hammering these bases home. And he'll get out with two swag haste and a swag invisibility. Absolutely crushed. <laughs> By the time they uh, finish this war, they're going to have 69 swag spells. 69 swag spells. Nice. All the swag spells. <laughs> That's insane. I guess he could just pop the rest of them in for cleanup if he really wanted to. But he's got 69 balloons if he doesn't have 69 spells. So there we go. Swags it all at the end. Makes a little... Was that a Mickey Mouse ears? Got, you got to throw down the Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> OP. Vila coming in next. We got Yuda on defense now. Yuda will be the final attack here for the Queen Walkers as soon as this attack is resolved. But we'll see what Vila can do. His team needs a triple right here if they want to have a chance to come back. They're not out of this yet. It's still up in the air here. And a triple here. And a triple on their next attack with an 88% or lower defense will swing the war. And Invincibles could still take down the Queen Walkers. Even after the dominating attacks that the Queen Walkers have had, Invincibles is staying close to toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Just that one attack there from 
The attack against uh, Klaus's base is going to haunt Queen Walkers here, potentially, as they move forward. They'll send in the Yeti Blimp. The Yeti Blimp will snipe out the Town Hall. We'll also get the air defense out of it and an Archer Tower. Big, big value here out of the Yetis. But the Dragons are all breaking the outside of the base here. Didn't get a star going to funnel on the right side. And it's going to cause a lot of problems. They'll send the RC towards the core of the base. But she's going to pull the CC. A Hound comes out there. That was a poor choice right there with the RC. But let's see if he can carry through. He'll get a little extra reinforcement in the core of the base there. And he will have to fight out the Hound. The uh, Multi-Inferno is going to start to tear these bats up here as nothing's getting over there. He'll freeze it up to try to protect. He does get through the Wizard Tower. He's got another invisibility and he can try to save the bats and... Not really going to happen for him here. But he's still got the RC moving. He's still got a lot of dragons left. The, the Queen still has her ability. He'll use that to get the enemy RC down. RC needs to pop everybody. Get the Multi down now. Or single, I mean. Oh, he's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. It's going to be a defense here. Maybe. Yeah. The Expo will defend. Close. Close, close attack here. But the dragons break into the outside on the right. Will be the, the primary cause of the defense here. Overall, good attack there. He had a lot of those dragons break off to the outside. And so uh, maybe he just felt like he had to throw in the RC to go into the middle of the base. And that pulled the CC. He needed the, the dragons to destroy the CC before the heroes could step into the range of it. That would have been his uh, potential path to victory right there if he could have got the dragons to stay centered and destroy the cc so the rc could have free reign over the outside of the base and keep those bats protected so nice try here he'll get out of it at a 95 percent yuda 14 coming in against khan we got a queen charge lalo and they're going for the perfect war let's see if they can get it done here queen will come in on the left hand corner he's sending a Yeti down at the bottom. A couple sneaky goblins to form the funnel. And he has four super wall breakers here for the... Maybe not all for the queen here. But I imagine a couple of them will be for her. And he might use a couple here for the king as well. You walk the queen along the edge here. Super wall breaks in uh, down the line. Actually into the void space. So we can reach both of the scatter shots. Nice patience there, but he does find a big Tesla farm, but he still got the super wall breaker even through the Tesla farm. So he's looking good here. Go for the arch tower if it potentially targets the healers here as he wraps through. I think he'll be alright. A lot of damage in the as he goes deep for the base here, so he'll get pulled into two ground expos that he can't reach. Inferno Dragon out of the CC. Gonna need to poison it up, and he's gonna have to freeze it. Looking good, though. We got a couple of the headhunters earlier in the attack there. But he's going for even deeper wall breaks. He's going after another Multi-Inferno, guys. Come on, Yuta. All the way to the core of the base here. Take out the Multi-Inferno. Get the Queen. Get the RC. He'll pop his ability. Here comes his RC as his King wall breaks into the Town Hall. King taking the Eagle Strike there. But he'll easily work his way in there. There's not too much damage on him. He should be able to power on through that. The Queen... Already used their ability. He's going to engage multiple heroes. So he's going to have to freeze him up there. Because he doesn't have his ability to protect the queen. King will pop his ability. The RC takes out the Grand Warden. He does get the queen down. Grabs out the sweepers. And is good to go here for the Lalo. Through the Eagle Artillery. And this is looking absolutely superb. The king gets the Town Hall down. No big deal. And that Grand Expo unfortunately goes over to the queen. But she's not under very much damage right now. She can just heal right through that. He'll grab out the Wizard Tower. And the Queen will continue on for quite a while here. The Lalo going to sweep through. He's got a single Inferno and one Multi-Inferno. But he can ward ability through those. Slammer. Because he didn't use the Siege Machine earlier in the attack. He's going to tank the, scat or tank the uh, air defense there as he moves through. Haste into the Multi-Inferno. And this base is crushed. The Queen does ultimately go down. But look at this. He's drawing the... Looks like... A sneaky goblin comes out of the bottom of the base there and he sends in that that draws the healers into tanking positions to close it out here. Just superb. Swags the rage at the end, doesn't even need it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is five attacks, all with swag spells here. For every member of the Queen Walkers and the perfect war here in the Vedakedu playoffs. Alright, guys. No opportunity to win anymore, and Rishu gonna come in against Stars. Stars getting hit with a Queen Charge Hybrid. 
Walkers had a lot of good attacks here with their own Queen Charge hybrids, and we'll see if Rishu can match what the Queen Walkers did. I'm noticing that uh, all the Queen Walkers bases have sig significantly higher level defenses as they uh, did clearly get more of the packs there when Town Hall 14 released here than the Invincibles team. And that might balance things out here as we uh, continue on into Town Hall 14 a little bit longer, but it doesn't change the fact that the Queen Walkers attacks are just superb. Just the the, a couple battle builders and a, and a couple levels on those extra defenses will not change the result of any of these attacks, I don't think, from the Queen Walkers. Just outstanding setups. But he's going to charge the Queen into four Expos and the Grand Vortex Statue. He's going to make her invisible here to try to protect her. He's going to need the Freezes as well to lock down some of these Expos until he gets some of the damage off him. Grand Skelly's popping under a lot of fire here. Going to have to go to an early Queen ability on top of that. Sends in a Super Wall Breaker. To try to give him access to the scatter shot out of that compartment later on. We'll see where she goes. She might try to go north here and go over to the storage and then out to the top of the base here. But no, she's going to break off to the left. Nope, now she's going off to the right. Alright, uh, she's not going to go to the scatter shot here. Hits the tornado trap. The queen does survive it. Nice control of the queen charge here. Does get everything in that compartment and does reach safety for the queen. Now, I don't think he's pulled the CC yet. So he's going to have to fight off the CC with... Look at this queen. She does go to the scatter shot. All right, I was off. I thought she would break over the storage on the right, but she does round the corner of the scatter shot. You'll get the CC pull, and you'll poison up there and try to fight it down, but the queen is going to drop at this point. He'll get the healer transfer over to the hybrid, and we'll see what they can do now. Scatter shot's out of the way, though, so he just needs to get this multi-inferno down in the core of the base and push his way towards the town hall. Got a headhunter coming in to deal with the enemy RC down at the bottom of the base there. It does get sniped off. No, it doesn't. It's going to get her down. Ward ability early here as he's uh, struggling to push his way towards the town hall. The king worker on the outside with the siege barracks is going to clear everything and make the path into the town hall. But he's got two different paths here as he's following. And it's splitting up his troops here pretty heavily. And he might actually one star because of it. Yeah, he is. Alright. Well. <laughs> they already lost. But... Invincibles is going to close out with a one star for the final attack of the war here. Stars holds very, very strong for this one. A dominant performance here today from the Queen Walkers. A ton of swag and some really cool attacks, especially that one there from Klaus. But every single attack was superb. And it looks like Queen Walkers will move on to the next round here. And I think if I had to predict two teams to go all the way to the grand finals. I think out of the top, it's going to be Darkest Mizana, the Queen Walkers. I think they're going to meet in the semifinals. And I think Vitang will sweep the bottom half of the bracket. So guys, we'll see what happens here as we continue to watch the Vetiketu Cup. But make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to use code ERIC. And we'll see you in the next one.